What I'm looking at here, uh, polarity indicators. So you look at these the last day, very quickly to go through them again. I'll take off the lights. And this is quite possible that this could come up in an exam. If you're given an example of these circuits and says, and the question is, what happens next? And then the next question is, why? So at the moment, I've got it set up to two diodes. The plus is coming in here. So as you look at it, right there, in fact, as we look at it here, you're gone. Yeah, I know. As it currently is set up, the red is connected to the positive back in the power supply. The black is connected to the negative. Will the bottom or the top one light up? Oh, the arrows. The top one. The red one. Bottom or top? Red or green? Oh, no, the green one. The red one for the signs don't make a difference. The signs don't make a difference because they can be changed. I'm just telling you that red, the red there one. is connected yeah. to the positive of the power supply. I'm going to check one. that. Yeah, then the red one. Okay, is the current going to go clockwise or anti-clockwise? Clockwise. So it's going to go around like that. So it won't be allowed through the green. It will be allowed through the red. So we turn it on and we get the red one lighting up. And if I switch the two of them around, get the green one lighting up. Just verify that. And wait, hold on, I can't. There we go, got it. Okay, and then finally, <coughs> if I put the two on, or if I put them in alternating. Why, why is it only allowed through switch. one? Because it, the diodes are turned two different ways. Oh, right. So depending on the current, will will allow it to go through it if it's going in that direction, let's say in the okay. red, but it won't allow it to go through the green. If we turn it on to alternating, what will we get? The boat light on like that. Okay, so in actual fact, what is actually happening? Yeah. How often? 50 times a second. However many times a second? <coughs> the current is alternating the voltage and that is 50 times a second. Yeah. If you look at your television or your radio, anything that's expecting alternating main supply current, it'll say 50 times, it might be 40, you can alternate between 40 and 50, I think it's, or maybe even 60, but it, it's, it's somewhere around there. The English, the American and the Europeans have slightly different systems, I think and normal appliances can take this slightly different frequency. Okay? So that's all of that. We'll turn the lights back on and now